life was perfect. I had an incredible mom who loved me. I was her princess and she kept me safe from everything. The only pain I ever knew was when I tripped and skinned my knee. But my mom was always there to make it all better. Dad left before I was born, so it's always just been me and her. And it always would be. I actually believed that. Until two years later when I learned what pain really was. The day my mom left too. Oh, that funeral was way too long. She didn't do squat with her life. I think that they could have shortened all that talk. I'm hungry. Oh, I know, the food was terrible. Let's go see what we have in the fridge. Here's your room. Our neighbor's grandmother died, so they gave us her bed, so you be sure to be grateful. Okay. I know it's a little plain right now, but uh, tomorrow morning we'll talk to Uncle David and see what he thinks about letting you decorate a little bit. How's that? Won't that be nice? Okay. Look, I understand that your mom just died, but I will not have you moping around. You will have chores to do and you'll be expected to help around the house. Okay. And you will be keeping this room clean. You're 10 years old, there's no excuse for messiness. Okay. All right, well, we will talk about your chores in the morning. Good night. Good night. Mrs. Wiggins, I can't stay in bed all day. Time to get up. Mom, my phone screen cracked. Well, honey, get a new one right after school. Caitlin, you want it? Ew, no. Can I have it? Indy, hurry up. I have an early morning meeting today. Sorry. Have a great day. Oh, I'm going shopping with Jada after. Okay, have a great time. Good morning, Mrs. Whitman. <laughs> this is life. Every school has their social stereotypes, like the band geeks, the jocks, the underachievers. I guess I fit in with the too normal to classify kids. Certainly not with the popular crowd. I'll leave that to Bryant Bailey. Ugh, so annoying. Some girls throw themselves at Bryant all the time, and I really don't understand it. Jada and Caitlin especially. But there's a lot I don't get about them. That one's Bryant's sister, Mackenzie. I don't know her, but she seems decent. At least she has a reason to be around Bryant. So Moving on then, it's class after class. History, English, and PE. Ugh, how I hate PE. And I get this every day. They get to eat out every day, but Clarice never gives me money for that. Hey, and that's Maxton. He keeps me sane, as best friends should. And that's my life, day in and day out. Isn't it grand? I mean, it's not perfect, but whose life is? Sometimes I wonder what it would be like if mom were still alive. With her, 
I felt my life was perfect. This is awful. You must have learned to cook from your mother. <laughs> but after she died, I didn't expect that to stay the same. But I also didn't expect it to get worse. Come on, Jada, we're gonna be late. I'm coming. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I didn't even. I'm so sorry. It was fabulous of you to stop by the other day, Bryant. Yeah, you should come by more often. I didn't stop by. I, I, I hit Indy's cat. Oh, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Andy. Gonna see me? Is he looking? Uh, yeah, he's coming this way. Indy, let's go. Wait, wait, I, I didn't get my stuff. Wait. <sighs> Bye, Bye, Brian. And there's my son. Hey, Brian. Hey. Thanks for stopping by, Dr. Bailey. I'll get those sessions with the students scheduled right away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, how'd it go? Great, great, yeah, I've got several patients that come to the school and now I can hold counseling sessions here without them missing too much class time. Cool. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be off to class yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Indy. What's going on? That's her. The one who owned the cat? Oh. Yeah, she's avoiding me. Yes, I see that. Hey, it'll be all right. She'll eventually hear you out. All right, see you, Dad. Are you ever gonna let Brian apologize? I can't run and talk at the same time. It's not an answer. Why should I? It would only give him a clear conscience. Yeah, you're above that whole forgiveness nonsense. Right? Wait, no, let's go. Ah. Oh, geez, oh. You all right? Karma hates me. What are you doing here? Being a gentleman and helping you up. Little heads up next time. Sorry. I, we still have class. Hey, are you just gonna keep blowing me off? What more do you expect? I just wanna make it up to you one day. The best way to make it up to me is to leave me alone. Wait. Please forgive me, Indy. Before you killed my cat, you hadn't even said two words to me. And now you expect me to be nice? No, Bryant, I won't forgive you. That cat was the last gift I got from my mom before she died. So please, leave me alone. I don't want your pity. All right, Dad, it's your turn to cook tomorrow. Already? No takeout, though. Why not? Yeah, why not? Because we need to eat a little healthier, and that's your cop-out every time it's your turn to cook. Hey, I'm the doctor. I say it's healthy. <laughs> You're not that type of doctor. <laughs> What's up, Bryant? Just thinking. Everything all right? That girl that I told you about? Ooh, what's her name? OK, shoo, shoo, both of you. Sweet. All right. The one with the cat? Yeah. Indy Zimmerman. Not sure I'm ever gonna be able to apologize without her throwing something at me. The cat was a gift from her mom before her mom died. Zimmerman. Indy. Or is it Cindy? I... She lost her mother a few years back, right? I don't know when. How do you know? Okay. Have a seat. Come on. Maybe if you know a little bit more about her, it'll help you apologize. Be a friend for her. Andy, get down here! Andy! What is taking so long? Get down here now! 
No. Cindy Ella Zimmerman, if you don't get your butt down here this second, you'll be grounded again. What is wrong with you? It is not a holiday. There is no breakfast downstairs. David has work. The girls have school. And I have people coming over for a presentation at three. Remember? Oh, my head is killing me. Oh, so you expect us to eat cereal? I'm sorry. I, I just don't feel very good right now. Oh, you look awful, too. Maybe I don't want you spreading around whatever disease it is you've got. Especially since I'm doing a presentation on essential oils. Okay. All right. We'll have cereal. We'll just have the girls hide the mess and you can deal with it later. Hey, isn't this Jada's shirt? There was a stain on it. She said she didn't want it anymore. Well, you didn't work very hard to get this out in the laundry. Get it out and get it back to Jada. Hey, Maxton. Oh, hey, what's up? Do you need something? Uh, yeah, I was just looking for Indy. Do you know where she is? She wasn't at school today. I, I think she's at home. She texted me earlier that she had a killer headache. Oh, that makes sense why she's not at your game too then, huh? <laughs> uh, no, that's actually pretty normal. Her aunt and uncle are kind of strict. Ugh. You still trying to talk to her? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, dude, Mrs. Wiggins was... Wiggins? Her cat. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, special cat. Yeah, I got that. All right. Thanks, Maxton. Indy loves company. Her room is up here. Indy, are you there? I've got something that will cheer you up. How are you feeling, sweetheart? I'm actually a lot better now that I slept. Hey. What in the world are you doing here? Look who it is. It's the boy who killed your cat. <laughs> and he wants to apologize and he has a present for you. Isn't he the sweetest? Very. Well, I still have guests downstairs, so. <laughs> what are you doing here? I knew you'd say no, so I just came without asking. Caught that part. What do you want? I'd like us to be friends. No. Look, do you have something against guy friends? Of course not. Maxton's my best friend. Look, I know you're only trying to be my friend out of pity, and I don't want that. I want genuine friends. Well, I'm genuinely worried about you. Can't that be a start? You are no more worried about me than my aunt and uncle are. What's in the bag? It smells good. This? Just a little peace offering. Food? Captain Jack's famous burger. You're kidding. And there's, there's fries as well. Oh. Mm. I knew I'd get on your good side eventually. <laughs> Don't push it. I'm starving. Why are you here? Well, besides feeling bad about, you know, hitting your cat, I... Murdering. You murdered my cat. Besides feeling bad about murdering your cat, I don't know why I'm here. I just feel like this is where I need to be, so here I am. And maybe you need me. Great. Now I'm just terrified. Just. Hear me out. This has absolutely nothing to do with me. If you need to come here to feel better about killing my cat, then sure. Placate yourself and show up, I guess. But to say that this is for me? That's where I'll call you on it. If this had anything to do with me, you would leave me alone. Okay. You're right. 
Maybe I need you. Look, can we just go on a walk or something? Why? Fresh air? I don't think I can. I, I have chores. Well, Clarice said that her party's not gonna end for another hour, so... What if I had you back by then? Fine. But we have to hurry. I love being around flowers. They remind me of my mom. I remember she always used to have lilies at her house. They're her favorite. Miss your mom a lot? Of course. It's kind of a weird question to ask. No, it's because I wanted to tell you something. There's no easy way to say it, so I'm just gonna jump in. About five or six years ago, my dad came home from work pretty late. There was an accident, and he was behind the car that got hit. The lady driving the car was hit by a truck, and then she swerved into oncoming traffic and was hit again by a semi. Stop. He was the one who called 911. And he didn't say how bad it was, only that she was dying and that she wasn't gonna make it to the hospital. So he sat there and he held her hand and he just let her talk. Please tell Cindy that I love her and she's my princess. And no matter what, I'll be with her. I remember, I remember a guy um, coming up to me before the funeral and saying those exact words. I had no idea it was your dad. When I told him that I had hit a girl's cat and her name was Indy, he asked if your name was actually Cindy Zimmerman. Only my family really knows that, but Cindy Ella, that's what she named me. He mentioned that she used to call you her little Cinderella. She was quite the romantic. He did everything he could to take her mind off the pain, and he told me that he could, could just see and feel how much that she cared for you. I know that. I never doubted that. I'm so sorry, Indy. It's fine. It Bad things happen to people. It's just the way the world works, right? Oh, yeah, but there's more to it than that. Like what? Well, yeah, bad things happen, but it's, it's how you learn from those things and those trials and how you help others learn that defines you. It sounds way too deep for me. So, Jada and Caitlin are your cousins, right? Yep. And uh, Jada's the senior and Caitlin's a sophomore like you, right? Or did I mix that up? No, nope, you're right. They just pretty much leave you alone up here? I actually prefer to be alone. Hint, hint. It is different than the rest of the house. Aren't there any other rooms? Well, the master bedroom's on the first floor, along with some studies and a guest room, and then there are four bedrooms on the second floor. So, let me get this straight. There are six actual bedrooms. Well, the girls turned one of them into a playroom. And a guest bedroom. Clarice always has that ready for her guests. So why not put you in the toy room and move the toys elsewhere? I really don't mind. What are you doing? I know, I'm nosy. One question, where are all your dolls and stuff? My dolls? Well, yeah, your cousins have so many they needed an extra room for them. Where are yours? I guess I really never had many. Mom enjoyed experiences more than things. Okay, but you were 10. I mean, I expect to at least see a teddy bear or something on your bed. Or, or maybe even things of your mom's. 
Well, the um, funeral expenses were too high, so... So... So we had to sell a lot of stuff. Really? Yeah. The only thing I got to bring with me was my cat. Hey, Indy! Mom said Brian Bailey is here. So you are here. Yep. So, Bryant, what brings you here? How are you doing? I'm good. I was, I was just talking to Indy. About what? Death. Is Clarice done with her presentation yet? Yes, thankfully it just ended. So what are you doing tomorrow night, Brian? We're having a few friends over to hang out and watch a movie. You wanna come? Sure, that, that sounds fun. Jada, mom said that Brian's here. He is, we're in the attic. How long have you been here? Uh, well, Indy and I have been talking for a while. Quite, quite a while, actually. I should, I should get going. You don't have to go. The homework. It's Friday. I'm, I'm committed. But I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? <laughs> girls and I had to work to get this place looking decent. I'm, I'm sorry. You should be. Your little vacation is over, Missy. Everything needs to be cleaned up. I want my oils packed away neatly and this entire area scrubbed from top to bottom. The girls are having their own party tomorrow and I want everything to be absolutely amazing. Okay. That means dusting and sweeping, mop, Bathrooms. Oh, don't forget to make fresh snacks. I don't know if I can get all of that done tonight. Well, of course not. The snacks need to be fresh, so you get up early in the morning and do those. Got it. Um, anything else? Yes. Since you weren't feeling well today, I think it's best that you just stay tucked away in your room during the party. You know, in case you're contagious. I didn't think I was invited anyway. Hey, let me help. Hi. You feeling better? Much. How was your soccer game? It was a tie. Better than a loss. So close, though. Here, I got you. Thanks. So you doing chores all day, or? Yeah, cleaning and baking. Need any help? I mean, I'd love some, but Clarice would probably say I'm not working hard enough. Probably, yeah. Thanks anyway, though. Yeah, um, I'll see you Monday. See you Monday. Okay, <laughs> bye. I'm so glad that you could come. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Brian. Hey, hey Brian. Hey, everybody. Uh, where's Indy? Uh, why don't you go get some food and then come watch the movie? I saved you a seat, Brian. I'm 
miss you so much. Do you know how hard it is to find you in your own house? You've got to be freezing. How long have you been hiding out here? Thanks. But I wasn't hiding. How's the party? Fine, but it was missing something. What? You. <sighs> Do you not like being around big groups? I already told you I wasn't hiding. Then why weren't you hanging out with us? I, I'm just tired. I've had a long day. Yeah? What'd you do today? I cleaned and I cooked. Did you make all the food in there tonight? Yeah. It was good. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Indy. When your cousins invited me tonight, didn't that include you too? We don't really uh, hang in the same social circles or anything, so. Yeah, but you made everything for their party tonight. Yeah. I mean, look, it's really not a big deal. Wow. You're literally Cinderella. No. Cinderella is just the name my mom left. It's not who I am. That well, fits you perfectly. I prefer Indy much better. All right. Well, come on. Let's get you out of your prison. Okay. But I'm not Cinderella. This is so good. I'm glad you like it. My mom used to bring me here all the time. Why'd she stop? She died about 10 years ago. How'd she die? It was sudden, like your mom. One minute she was riding her bike to work and the next she was hit by somebody who was texting and driving. How'd you get through it? Well, I missed her like crazy. She was riding her bike because she and I were doing this child parent triathlon that summer. We would go out in the evenings and ride our bikes, wake up early, go to the swimming pool and practice. Wow. Did you still end up doing it? By myself? No. That day of the triathlon, I just curled up in my bed and didn't move all day. Everyone seemed to forget about the race, but I didn't. That was the day that I cried the most. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I think that we should do this more often. <laughs> what, share grief story? <laughs> no, get to know each other. It's how relationships start. Whoa, <laughs> you need to slow down. I don't know you, you don't know me. You think we're starting a relationship now? I don't know, maybe. Besides, all friendships are relationships. And I just want to get to know you better. What's so wrong with that? It's gonna be a little hard. Why? If Clarice even knew that I was here right now, she... She'd lose it. You have no idea. She's not really into me having relationships. So what are you really trying to say? I'm saying you're probably better off trying to start a friendship with one of my cousins. What if I don't want to get to know them better? They seem like they want to get to know you. <laughs> Speaking of which, aren't they going to notice you left their movie party? They may have. But they were just gossiping and didn't seem to see me slip out. Plus, I like to hang out with kind girls. And from what I've noticed, they're not. Thank you for tonight. Yeah, it, was, it was fun. Thanks for coming. Would you want to go on another date next weekend? This wasn't a date. Then what was it? 
Brian, you and I are from two completely different worlds. So? So I'm not the kind of person you typically hang out with. But you're exactly who I want to be around. And you... Look, you're, you're just not my type, okay? Is that the real reason? I could get in a lot of trouble for being with you right now. What's wrong with me? It's not you, it's me. It... Wow, are you breaking up with me already? My aunt doesn't like me staying out. People at school are gonna notice and they're gonna talk. All right, well, let's, let's do it this way then. We'll just keep our relationship. Friendship. A secret for a couple of weeks and see how that goes. I wanna hang out with you as friends and maybe more one day. Look, it's getting late, Cinderella. Let's get you inside before you turn into a pumpkin. Don't call me Cinderella. I don't know if you've noticed, but your aunt and cousins are playing their parts to a T. Whatever. Hey, wait. Can I uh, get my shirt back? As we explore the findings of Shakespeare's Hamlet, I want you to pay particular attention to the following scene as to how you can use it in our everyday lives. William Shakespeare wrote relatable characters so well that after hundreds of years, we can still enjoy them. Even though life was a whole lot different for them than it is now, they still had the same needs and desires and problems, just like you. Andy, where are you going? Oh, sorry, I, I was looking for somebody. It's gotten into you. What? You're smiling. I smile. Okay, so anything new going on? All right, Spill, what's going on? Nothing. Oh, I'm not that stupid. Now share, please, already, or I'll get a complex. When have you ever gotten a complex? You are avoiding the question, ma'am. You don't want to talk? That's fine. But just so you know, the next time you want to know something, I'll leave you hanging too. That's not fair. It's a secret. Oh, I'm not, not going to tell anybody, all right? I won't say a word. Okay. You have to keep your mouth shut. What did you do? Bryant Bailey... He... I think he likes me. What? Yeah, we went out this weekend. Wait, what? I mean, not on a date. I mean, I made sure not to call it that. But he wanted to. Oh, it's really, really weird. And that's why I want to keep it a secret. I can't even wrap my head around well, it. Hang on, seriously, you're, you're not joking. No. He came over Friday, and then he came over again Saturday, and we actually have a lot in common. The Brian Bailey. The guy you completely despise who killed your cat and has been stalking you ever since to apologize for destroying your life. That Brian Bailey? Yeah. I would not have expected it. Me either. And he said he wants to date you? Well, not in those exact words, but yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> crazy. So, so, what, so what did he say when you told him you already had a boyfriend? A what? Who? When did this happen? Last year. I didn't even know you liked me like that. Indy, I have always liked you. You just didn't want a boyfriend. I didn't? I, I don't think so, so I just hung back and we were just friends. Until last year. Yeah. It seems like it's a, a shock to you. Uh, yeah. I have history. Uh, yeah, talk later. 
Definitely. On page 275, you're going to find a lot of the information that you'll find necessary to complete the worksheet before the end of class. If you finish early, you can use the duration of your time to prepare for a quiz that may or may not surprise you sometime this week. We've been studying the Declaration of Independence, so that's a good clue on what the quiz will be on. Uh, remember Thomas Jefferson, not only was he our third president, but one of the main authors of the Declaration of Independence. I recommend that you write that in your notes. Hey, how's your day? Interesting. <laughs> Learned lots of revealing stuff. So, what happened to change our relationship? What? Oh, oh, okay. Are you talking about how I knew you had just a burning desire in the deepest of your heart to be with me, even if you wouldn't say it out loud? I guess so. <laughs> like how I'm having fun with this? <laughs> Sorry. Um, do you remember uh, last summer? You, you were sick, and you asked me to come over, and I snuck out, and stayed the night with you and talked till you had felt better? I was pretty delirious. <laughs> yeah, but for the first time, I saw how scared you were. You showed me how scared you were, and it was awesome. I mean, not, not for you, obviously. You were all sneezy and <laughs> feverish, but you've always been this tough, fun girl, and then you needed someone, and I don't know. I thought, I thought things changed then. Well, I guess they did. Just... You just didn't see us as an item. I saw us as best friends. Yeah, and I saw us as boyfriend-girlfriend, because I, I thought I was the closest thing to that for you. So, after last summer, why didn't you say something or try and take me out or kiss me or something. Kiss you? You're not the kissing type. No, 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 sorry, not that I, not that I don't want to, I just, I got the feeling you weren't ready for that yet. I didn't even know we were in a relationship. Now that you do? Sorry, I, I decided I wasn't gonna hold back anymore. Apparently, I'm, I'm awesome at this communication thing, so let me try this again. I, um, I, I wanna be your boyfriend. Thank you. All right, is, is, that, a, is that a yes? Uh, I, uh, I need some more time to Think. Yeah, I, uh, do you want to go somewhere, do something fun? When? Tomorrow, after school. Clarice will have a cow. Clarice always has a cow. She's going to have to deal with it. You can tell her you're working on a school project with me. OK. I, I'd like that. Mrs. Whitman. <laughs> Let me guess. Your aunt doesn't do much yard work. I have much bigger problems to worry about right now. Yeah, like what? Max didn't think I'm his girlfriend. Like a girl that's a friend? Nope. Do you think of yourself as his girlfriend? No, but... Like, have you guys ever gone on a date? No. Or even held hands or kissed? No. I mean, I guess today we did, but... What? He kissed me today when I told him about me and you. You told him about us? He's my best friend, and he could tell something was up the minute I walked in the room, and he started hounding me and hounding me, and finally I gave in. But it backfired. Well, I guess now things just get interesting. What do you mean? Have you ever thought about giving him a chance? You're giving up already? Well, you guys have been friends for forever. He definitely has a lead on me. 
I have never seen him in that way. Besides, what if I start liking Maxton more than you? So you're saying that you like me? At least a little bit. I will be your friend regardless, okay? But what about Maxton? I think you should give him a chance. But I do hope you realize that I still want a chance too. <laughs> I'm glad you came out with me. <laughs> You're not afraid of heights, are you? No. Even if I was, though, I'd stick it out. It's our first date. I guess so, yeah. Now that we both realize it. So, just out of curiosity, why all the awkwardness? You seem shocked I even like you. I just never saw it. You ever wonder why I eat lunch with you every single day? I thought it was because we were best friends, but I did notice all your soccer friends asking you to go with them and you saying no, but was that because of me? Is this a trick question? Um, look, I, I like you, okay? I have for a long time and Clarice won't give you lunch money to go out to eat and she refuses to let you make anything at home because she thinks it's tacky, so, I don't know, when you got embarrassed about only eating school food, I had my mom get me meal tickets, too. Really? Yeah, yeah, it didn't really matter to me where I ate, as long as I was with you. And all your soccer friends, they know? Yeah. Uh, soccer buddies tease me about uh, my uh, girlfriend all the time. Mostly they just ask why you never come to my games. I do. Yeah, um, I, I tell them it's uh, complicated. I know Clarice and David don't really go for that kind of thing, and I didn't want to make it harder on you, so I never really pushed it, I guess. And all the times we went out to lunch, you saw that as a date? I guess so. I, I don't know. Look, I... I fell at this whole relationship thing, clearly. Um... I know I'm not, I'm not Brian Bailey, okay? That guy's his own brand of whatever. What I'm, what I'm hoping is that you care about me, even if I'm not. Hey. I care about you. Okay? Wow. And I want to come to your next soccer game. You mean this Saturday? Yeah, what time? Are you serious? What'll Clarice say? I'll deal with that later. Well, if you're serious, the game's at one o'clock. Okay. Indy, um... You know I want to be your boyfriend. What do you think? Can I just have some more time to think about it? I just, I don't want to rush into anything. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Where have you been? I was, um, working on a school project. Something you couldn't have done here? It was a group thing with, uh, with Maxton. Hmm. Well, get started cleaning the house. Okay. And David wants something other than pasta for dinner tonight. Think spicy. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hey, you. Hey. So how's your date with Maxton? You guys officially boyfriend and girlfriend now? Not yet. I never knew it, but he's actually sacrificed a lot to keep me company. Like what? Like he eats cafeteria food every day just because he knows I always have to. Why do you always have to? I don't get money to go out to lunch. I see your cousins going all the time. Well, that's part of their allowance. If they keep their grades up, they get money every week to go out. And what do you do with your allowance? 
Indy, come on, tell me. Why should I? Because <laughs> I'm beginning to think that you don't get an allowance. Do Jada and Caitlin do any housework? No, they're usually busy during the day. They get home just in time for dinner and then they crash. So little Cinderella does all the housework, and if she doesn't get it all done, then Auntie Clarice gets angry and doesn't refill her lunch card. I don't exactly love cleaning and cooking and being grounded all the time, but they're the only family I have. Indy, why are you so nice? I've been horrible to you for weeks. <sighs> I wish there was a way that I could just go back Brian, and... it's really okay. Mrs. Wiggins shouldn't have run out into the road and it's actually really bad of me to blame you for something that's nobody's fault. I'm sorry. Here you are being nice again. Well, I should probably let you go. Wanna walk to school tomorrow? Sure. See you then. Hey, you're still up? Yeah. Couldn't sleep. So uh, I've been hanging out with Indy. Oh, good, good. She's really something. So hanging out with is really code for you like her. <laughs> yeah. But I did something stupid. What? I encouraged her to figure herself out with this other guy. <sighs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> you're, you're, you're being a good friend. But I don't want her to date him. Well, are you going to do anything about it? I don't know. You have a good heart. Hey, you're respecting her. You're letting her make her own choice. I guess. She's special, huh? Dad, you see a lot of family stuff, right? With work? Yes. Is it uncommon for families who take in orphans to treat them differently? Why do you ask? I've just noticed some things. It's like she's not an equal, not even close. Hmm. Yeah, it happens. And sometimes without the people even realizing they're doing it. Are you worried? I'm not sure yet. I hate running. Apparently it's good for you. So is math. Doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Come on, let's finish this lap so I can go die quietly somewhere else. That's the spirit! Here we go! Hey, now you're just showing up. Yeah, every single day. It's nice to see you finally noticing. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, instead of going home, do you want to take a quick detour? What did you have in mind? So this is your detour? Yeah, I love playgrounds. I don't know, there's just something about them that reminds me you're never too old to have fun. Okay, so what's your favorite thing here? Oh, by far the merry-go-round. I don't know, there's just something so fun to me about spinning around as fast as you can while trying not to get sick. Yeah, I'm, well, there was this one time when I was little, right? I was running as fast as my little legs would let me and I was pushing it so hard that I just completely flew off and broke my arm. Oh no. Yeah, but I survived. And it didn't stop me from coming back again and again. I mean, that is until they got rid of the merry-go-round a few years later, but. I guess swings will have to do for today, right? <laughs> hey, uh, us being here isn't gonna get you in trouble with your aunt, will it? I mean, as long as we're not out too late. Did, uh, I mean, was she cool about it when Maxon dropped you off after your guys' date? Not necessarily, but I told her we were doing a school project, so... How'd that work? Not well. <laughs> I had to do a few extra chores around the house, but... So you did get in trouble? Kids get in trouble for that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah? I mean, when I get in trouble, my dad just... I don't know, he just chews me out. Sometimes he'll listen when it's important to me, but... I've noticed that when you get in trouble, you just kind of become Clarice's servant. Maybe what Maxon should have done and... What any friend, including me, should do is, is walk you in and take the blame for making you late. 
because chances are at that point Clarice will kind of back way down and be less harsh. Maybe in the end she... In the end, she would just wait for you to leave and then chew me out anyway. Hey, Brian! Why is he with Indy? Ugh. Come on. We should probably get you home. There's no way I can lie now. The girls already saw us at the park. You'll be fine. Speak of the devil. I'm here. No, Brian, just go home. I'll be fine, okay? What are you doing? Exactly what I should be doing. Hey, Mrs. Taylor. Hi, Bryant. My girls said they saw you at the park. They just left for the mall. They'll be so sad they missed you. Oh, well, tell them I say hi. Hmm. Are, are we too late? Were you, were you looking for Indy? You know I was. Yesterday she was so late getting home that I just wanted to make sure she made it home today. <laughs> Do you need me to stay? Oh, Indy will be just fine without you. Now go ahead and have a seat in the living room. Thank you for walking me home. You're walking on very thin ice right now. I don't know what it is you're trying to prove with Bryant Bailey, but remember he is only being nice to you because he killed your cat. My girls have had their eyes on him for years, and the last thing I need is you getting in Jada's way, especially with prom right around the corner. Go do your chores. We'll talk about this later. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Hey. What happened? Nothing I haven't heard before. Well, let me know if it gets bad. I'm sure everything will be okay. I'm serious. Okay. Wanna walk to school tomorrow? I actually probably shouldn't. I have to go to Maxton's soccer game on Saturday and I wouldn't want to be grounded before then. But, Brian, thank you. Any sign. Is your leg gonna be okay though? Oh yeah, um, I think so. I think it's probably just bruised or sprained. I'll put some mice on it when I get home. Oh, hey, let me help you. Oh, thanks. So, 
besides the injury, are you always that good? You know what, uh, today, I think I had some extra motivation. Thank you for coming. Watching me play, it means a lot. Of course. You know, it's funny, I, um, I've always liked you, but I never, never thought I'd feel like this. I like this. I like us. Come on. Let's go get some ice on your leg. Nice, welcome. So you're back from the soccer game? Yeah, just barely. How was it? Did Clarice get mad? I actually don't think she remembered I went to go study. Snuck in through the side door so nobody would see me. Andy, get down here! Um, sorry, I have to go. Clarice is calling. <laughs> calling or yelling? Yeah, bye. Have a seat. So would you like to tell us where you really were today? And don't lie. I was at Maxton's soccer game. So you weren't studying after all. And what about after? After? I, I came straight home after. Really? Because Clarice received a call that would seem to imply otherwise. Mrs. Whitman called me and said that she saw you and some boy making out in the middle of the soccer field right there in front of everyone to see. Well, we kissed once, but I promised we didn't make out. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is to receive a call like that? I'm sorry. I have to go into my office. Do whatever you need to do here, Clarice. Uh, deal with her. What? You are not leaving me here to handle this by myself. What, do you want her going around the neighborhood like some floozy? Well, with her mother, what would we really expect? What's that supposed to mean? Fix this. No, do you have something you'd like to say? My actions, my choices are mine. So don't you dare pin this on my mother. My mom loved me and cared for me and worked herself sick trying to provide for me. And she had nothing but nice things to say about you two, so I am done hearing how awful you think she was. You don't get to I know you don't want me. I <laughs> knew it the moment I showed up to stay with you. I was just some poor relative who was coming to intrude on your lives I was loved before this, and I know the difference between this and what a real family is supposed to feel like. I have done everything you have asked me to do. Everything. And it is still not enough. Sure, Jada and Caitlin get to go on dates and see their friends and have normal lives but not me. What is it going to take for you to see me as family? Oh, oh, Missy, how entertaining was that? <laughs> I'm serious. You want serious? If you don't learn to respect both of us in this home, you can find another place to stay. And what is respect to you, Uncle David? Doing all the chores? Staying away during family events? Living in the attic and not having a life outside of school until you tell me to come make dinner for you? Is that respect? Because if so, what of that have I not been doing? You're acting as if we're treating you like a maid. 
after everything that we did, after all the things we changed to make room for you in our lives. Do you hear yourself? Enough! You will go to your room, and we will decide on a punishment for you, you selfish old brat! And let me tell you, it will be severe. Go now. Hey, Indy, I can't really talk right now. Sorry, did I did I wake you up? No, no, it, it's okay. It's just uh, my ankle. My mom made me go to the clinic to get an x-ray. Are you okay? Yeah, um, I should be. I'm just still in a lot of pain. Can I call you back? Um, I'm having a really rough night. It's bad here. Yeah? It's probably... The worst it's ever been. I'm sorry, I'd maybe just give your aunt some time to cool down. That usually works, right? I'm scared. Oh, hey, the doctor just came back in, so I'm gonna call you back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, night. Wait a minute. Are you leaving? Indy, what's going on? I messed up. Really, really bad. Okay, what, what happened? I guess one of the neighbors called Clarice and told her I was making out with Maxton at his soccer game. Uh, were you? Sorry, that's, that's not important. We kissed. We didn't make out, though. It was in front of a group of people. And your, your aunt chewed you out. Her and David. And then David made a comment about how he thought my mom raised me poorly, and I just lost it. All the stuff I had pent up just came out. And then David said that if I disrespected them one more time, I'd be kicked out. And then he said my punishment was going to be really bad. So you came upstairs and started packing. Yeah. Did you tell them how unfair it was that you're the maid and the cook and the prisoner all while they get to go out and live? Sort of. Look, it was awful. My filter was completely gone. So now what? I don't know. Do you need a place to stay? No, I'll be fine. Their threats aren't going to get any better. 
Look, my dad's a family therapist and he sees this stuff all the time. And the problem with abusive people is that they just always think they're right. You think they're abusive? Yeah. Their daughters are perfect. And you're not allowed to be. Excuses to keep you grounded, not inviting you to things. Not even giving you a proper bedroom. The list goes on and on. I mean, it's bad, but it, it's not abuse. Yes, it is. It's definitely emotional abuse, which can be so harmful and dangerous. Look, I think that you need to come with me. Can I have time to think about this? Actually, do you mind if I call my dad and just ask for his advice? Just be a second, but in the meantime, you should really, really keep packing, okay? Yeah, I'll tell her. Okay. Bye. What did he say? Well, he was obviously concerned when I told him. What I didn't know is, now that I've told him by law, he's... Gotta tell Child Protective Services. What? Are, are you sure? Indy, he could lose his license if he didn't. This is insane. I, I know, but look, I'm sorry. And I promise we'll keep it private. Brian, I can't do this. Jada and Caitlin. No, this is not about them. This is about you. My dad says that you can come stay with us. He's certified to take in foster kids, and he really doesn't think you're safe here. Look, I think that you just need to come stay with us tonight. I really don't think that they're gonna hit me or anything. No, but they might just lock you in your room or something. They always do that! What, is that considered abuse too? I'm getting the bags, we're leaving. You didn't answer my question! I don't need to. If they're going to lock you in your room for being a normal child, imagine what they're going to do when they're all upset. We're leaving. Hey, come on in. Welcome, Indy. Thank you. Your home is beautiful. Listen. I want you to feel as comfortable here as you can. So I hope you don't mind that your room is next to Bryant's. Uh, he is a boy, and they, you know, they stink sometimes. And I know you're really tired, but if you feel up to it, would you mind answering some questions for me? It'll help me know better what to do in the morning. Yeah, okay, and then Bryant will help you get settled after. Okay, just through here. Just get some rest for now, Indy. I will. And thank you for... Oh, we are happy to. Bryant, could you show her to her room? Mm. Come on, you can meet my sisters in the morning. Here's your room. Thanks. Yeah. What do you think Clarice is gonna do when she realizes I'm not there? Don't worry about them. Will you focus on yourself for once? I just really hope I did the right thing. You did do the right thing. Besides, you're here with friends. Okay. All right, and if you can't fall asleep, just shoot me a text, okay? We'll go watch a movie in the living room or something. Thank you. For everything. How did we get to this point? You killed my cat. <laughs> and I'll never live that down, ever.
Save some for everyone else. Oh, God. Morning. Oh, hey. Um, Indeed, these are my sisters. This is Mackenzie and Ronnie. I'm sure you know Mackenzie from school. We're glad you could stay with us. I'm sorry the circumstances aren't better. I'm sorry I woke up so late. I... No worries, it's Sunday. These are good. Mm. Indy, do you want syrup? Was it for me? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tons. Have a seat. Well, I hope we don't have any fist fights over whipped cream this time. <laughs> I, uh, I used up the last of it yesterday. Oh, well, that settles that. So you had a chance to meet the rest of the gang? Yeah. And thank you guys so much for letting me stay here. Oh, you know, I've been on the phone already this morning, and things are moving forward. I'll tell you more about it after you've had a chance to eat. Oh, you know, I've been thinking, you know, we have that apartment in the pool house out back. Maybe you'd be more comfortable staying out there. You know, you'd be close to the family and to the house here, but you'd have a little privacy, too. Um, yeah, that's fine. Excuse me. Eat up. That is highly unusual. They've hired a powerful attorney and he's insisting that the venue be the aunt uncle's home. No way. You are the government representative. You're supposed to be keeping her safe. We are supposed to keep her safe. You know these things take time and some finagling. They are the legal guardians. So you Therefore, want her to we... go back over there right now and face them after everything she's been through? We don't know what she's been through. That's the point. But Officer Reed and I are here to make sure she's safe. Yeah, that or to force her back to her aunt's house. Dr. Bailey, please work with me here. Indeed. How many pancakes did you eat? A lot. <laughs> Indy! What's wrong? What's going on? Indy! back. They heard them talking and they said there was a police officer there hey. Hey, and they hey, were saying. Hey, hey, hey. Can I just explain, please? Your aunt and uncle are trying all sorts of excuses and tactics. Some that my dad have already dealt with this morning. They're moving fast, but there are rules and you are not going back there. But I, I heard them talk, talking. Yeah, they were trying to get you to do the interview at Clarice's house with Child Protective Services, but my dad is dead set against that. You should not have to be anywhere where you're feeling uncomfortable. Interview? Yeah. Look, you're old enough to voice your own opinion now. So my dad talked to the Child Protective Services lady and they agreed to let you do it wherever you choose. 
why was there a police officer there? That was just precaution. You know, in case you had to go back to your aunt's house, they just wanted you to feel safe. Why are you doing this for me? Why wouldn't we? Indy, I'm not gonna sit there and watch you be treated horribly. And, and neither is my dad. I don't want to be a burden. You are not a burden. I just feel like I've been causing a lot of problems. Your dad mentioned moving me out to the pool house. And I... You got banished to the attic in Clarice's house. <sighs> Indy, that is not what we meant by that. My dad just thought you might want some privacy or personal space. Look, you are more than welcome to stay in the house. Oh, man, I'm sorry, we should have thought of that. You know, I'm sorry for overreacting. No, you didn't. So everything's really okay? No. But it will be. since you ran out of the house without him, right? Come on, let's go. Indy! Are you okay? Um, yeah. Are you really? I'm sorry. I, I just thought that... I thought wrong. Well, the... That caseworker, she she wants to talk to you first thing tomorrow morning at her office, if that works for you. I guess, but what about school? Oh, I'll deal with the principal. You don't have to worry about that right now. This is more important. What's going to happen after the interview? Well, in a couple of weeks, we'll probably have to attend a hearing on your behalf, where I'll get a chance to share my side, and your caseworker will share her side. And what if we don't win? Oh, don't worry. We will win. But just in case, do I have to go back with Clarice? Oh, no. Not, not again. What's going to happen to my aunt and uncle? Honestly, that's a decision a judge is going to have to make. And that is not our concern right now. You are. And if you're all all right with it, we'd like to be the ones to look after you. You already have been. Well, I don't mean just for the weekend. I mean, I think we could be your foster family, if that's okay. <laughs> Bring it in. What are you? Oh, would you just smile? I am. Hmm? Hmm? She is ruining our lives, dragging our names through the mud. We're gonna stop her. When's our lawyer get here? He's on his way. Mm. Oh, that's Thank good. you that's so good. much. Absolutely. I little brat. Shut your mouth, someone will hear you. Yes, dear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweetie. Uh, uh, I'll walk you out. It's okay. Dr. It's Bailey's okay. waiting over here. It's okay. So, not too bad? It was fine. Good, good. Well, hard part's over. Is it? Well, one of the hard parts. How do you feel? Hopeful, I guess is the word. I just... What? I'm nervous. I can understand that. You've got a lot of changes going on in your life right now. But I'm, I'm not just nervous for me. I'm nervous for them too. Does that make any sense? I mean, I realize that they didn't treat me the way that they were supposed to, but... But you still care for them. Yeah. I mean, sort of. 
Is that weird? Brian was right about you. You are a unique person with a kind heart. Whatever it is you're feeling, it's okay. I think the kids have a movie night planned. Maybe we ought to get home and see what they've picked. So this is what a movie night is really like. Yeah. Cool. his number I'll text him what no what are you gonna say don't worry may I shh you guys are being too loud sorry <laughs> You've seen this movie at least a hundred times. Do you really need us to be quiet? Stop talking now, people. <sighs> it's her favorite part. <laughs> so this is what a movie night is really like. <laughs> Pretty much popcorn, fighting, and movies you've seen a hundred times. Hi. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Brian said that you... He's being serious, wasn't he? Yeah. And when you called, you you needed my help. Yeah. Indy, I I don't know what to say. I'm an idiot. No, I you're not. You just had your own stuff going on. Speaking of which, how's your ankle? <laughs> it's uh it's still sore, but doctor says it it's nothing serious. Just have to take it easy for a while. I'm glad. Are you really okay? I mean, Brian's dad is taking care of my case, so it's getting there. Can I see you? Are you gonna be at school or? I think I'm gonna stay home, but take notes for me, okay? Yeah. Can I come over after school just to talk? Sure. Indy, I'm really, really. I know. See you tomorrow. Hey, do you have a second? Sure. Is everything okay? Well, um, I've had a few friends digging into the paperwork. And apparently, your mother had a $300,000 insurance policy that your aunt and uncle took as legal guardians to raise you. To raise me. <laughs> and they, they had all this money the whole time? Did you see any of it? Never. That's the issue. On top of selling everything, all my mom's stuff? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. But it's all gonna come up in court. <laughs> Why do they see me as such a burden? I'm sorry. On the bright side, you will likely win all of that money back, and then some, in court. It's not gonna look good for your aunt and uncle. Thank you. The water looks nice. You feeling any better? I always thought they treated me the way they did because I cost them too much money. Now I know that's not the case. It's their loss. You have nothing but goodness in your heart. Besides, you didn't deserve the way they treated you. 
I don't know if I could ever face them again. And I have to see Jada and Caitlin every day at school. True. But the school year is almost over. It is a big school. With, uh, the school year almost being over, there's this thing that starts with a P. Party? <laughs> Close. Prom. What about it? Uh, you should go. Jada and Caitlin have been preparing for prom for months. And imagine their faces when you walk in with whatever killer dress you pick. With me. With you? If you'll go with me. But my cousin <laughs> Well, I just wanted to go with you, but hey, if you want to make it a group date with your cousins, then. <laughs> Did you really just ask me to prom? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yes. I can go. I I don't have to do chores. I'm not grounded. I don't have to make dinner for my cousins or their dates. I, I'd love to. Do I have to wear a dress with heels? <laughs> I'll wear the dress. I just, please don't make me wear heels. I'm a guy. I don't care what shoes you wear. Hey, uh, Indy. There's a boy here who wants to talk to you. Ah. Uh, Maxton. Hi. So new digs, huh? This place is cool. The Baileys are really nice people. Yeah, I can't uh, compete with that. What are you talking about? Look, you, uh, you have Bryant now. And I'm stupid for not asking you out sooner. Look, Indy, spending these last few years with you was really a dream come true for me. You made it worth going to school every day. Really? Yeah. I mean, we should have done more and been more of what you needed, but I didn't, I didn't know what that was. You were exactly what I needed. You helped me through some of the hardest times I've ever had. You made me forget how bad my life really was. Did you really get removed from the house because of abuse? Yeah. Did they hurt you? I, why didn't you tell me? I could have, I could have helped. I could have done something. My case is more emotional abuse, which I didn't know you could take somebody to court for. But I'm safe now. Dr. Bailey's helping me. He seems decent. I'm happy for you. Are you gonna change schools or? I thought about it, but since Dr. Bailey works at the school, I figured I better stay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm glad you're staying, even if it's not with me. Next. Hey, it's okay. This is the part where you tell me you're going with the handsome prince and not the regular dude. I'm sorry. Don't be. It might not have been legit, but you were mine for years, and I don't, I don't need more than that. You deserve more than that. And you'll have it someday. <sighs> Just not with you. You know what you will have? A best friend. Promise me that you'll stay my best friend. Friends for life? Forever.
as I watched him walk away, I fully expected things to be awkward here and there, especially if he and Bryant were in the same room. But Maxton has been such a huge part of my life for so long, and we were learning now what love really was. I think that'll help us both. We'll be fine. As luck would have it, Dr. Bailey wasn't just good at his job. He was really good. Between his testimony and the state's investigation, my aunt and uncle not only lost custody of me, they were ordered to make payments to pay back my mom's life insurance policy, as well as another big sum to make up for the missing assets and any emotional trauma they caused. I couldn't touch most of it until I was 18, but holy smokes, I was loaded. The first thing I did was get a set of wheels. Brian's dad assured me it was a good deal. He also told me it'd be wise not to spend all my money at once. Funny thing was, I never cared about the money. Never even thought I had any. I only wanted to belong. I did move out to the pool house though. Since Brian and I were dating, I figured it was the right thing to do. We all have dreams. Some of us want to be singers, dancers, astronauts, whatever. After losing my mom, this was mine. To have a family again. Whoa, 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 you're not doing prom stuff without me, are you? Dad, you and your pictures. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't go to prom without pictures. And a little... <laughs> Battery issue. <laughs> Hang on just a sec. Do you know how beautiful you are? For the first time I feel beautiful. And that's all because of you. No. Not me. You've always been this way. You know, if it wasn't for Mrs. Wiggins, I don't think we'd be here today. So I got you something. Wait here. competing with the cat for your attention, aren't I? She's not the only reason why I'm happy. You know, problem solved. Picture time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Brian's got two dates. And... Nice. Ah, nice. Well, look at that. Ronnie, get in here. Now you, Dr. Bailey. Oh, okay. You insist. <laughs> I think that's the button. <laughs> <laughs> 